Rudder Middle School students and staff created a rain garden to alleviate some massive runoff water. But they didn't stop there as they recycled the water for many uses around campus. Rudder Middle School got a new science building earlier this year. It was needed to keep the 34-year-old school's science classrooms in compliance with state regulations. But outside, when it rained, there were some problems. There's 40,000 square feet of water coming off the back of the building. And because of that, we were going to have a concrete swell, which wasn't going to be effective. Yeah, perfect. So the principal, Dr. Mary Jewell, and science teacher David Oberg came up with an environmentally friendly solution to create a rain garden. And so he started talking to me, giving me the research. I did my homework and found out it was a way to really handle large volumes of water in a very natural way. The river rocks were placed in the path of the running water. The science class and nature club students were then invited to plant native plants for landscaping. I really like planting because it's fun when digging it up and then having to overturn the pot to plant it in. So now when it rains, not only is the runoff water being put to good use, but most would agree it makes for a very picturesque sight. It seeps into the ground and then the plants that we planted, are, there's four gardens in there right now that are planted with uh, native plants, part of the acorn project, and it use, utilizes that water instead of it just being run off and going to the streets and creating a problem for the city. With the rainwater going directly into the ground and being naturally filtered, this allowed for the students to create more gardens. They like to come out, they like to, to work, get their hands dirty, uh, but also in learning. They, 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 they learn about the, how the, the vegetable garden works and that uh, vegetables come from other places other than HEB. So where would that fall? Chemical. Chemical. Whoa, good job. Three outdoor classrooms surround the gardens where students can learn about nature. I learned the proper way, the, um, some planting techniques and how far apart you should um, plant them all, um, how much water you, they should get, and how, where you plant them in your, rain, in your garden affects their growth. Students can first learn and discuss planting and nature techniques before getting hands-on experience. I really like the vegetable gardens, even though the weeds could be a pain to pull out. The several different types of gardens at Rudder Middle School make for great learning opportunities for the students. And to think, it all started with creating a natural solution to some massive runoff water. The rain garden came at a hefty price of $22,000 funded with grant money from the San Antonio River Authority. Now the other gardens were created with additional grant funding and with business partners who donated supplies and or money.